Okay, so my issue is this. I have a table of data, and it's a lot of data. It's uh, open and close stock symbol data for um, a lot of different stock symbols over a large amount of time. So it's a lot of data. Over here, I have another table called strategy reports, and this has only a couple tickers on it. And so what I want to do is I want to have a, a system where it's going in, it's looking at the tickers on the strategy report, it's shooting it onto a list of those ticker symbols, and then it takes this list and filters the open and closed data for the stock symbols so that I only see and only downloads just the data for those symbols. So in uh, prior videos, I talked about how we use a parameter and we enter a, like a, a ticker into a cell and then it filters this uh, data set automatically and shows only that um, the, the data for that ticker. In this situation, it's a little different because we don't have just one ticker. We have multiple tickers. And uh, we don't want to have a system where we're entering it into a cell. We want this done automatically behind the scenes. So I went out and tried to find, and I start at YouTube usually, try to find the answer. And this is a, a great video uh, by Guy in a Cube. Uh, he talks about only using one parameter, though. You can see one of the comments here is, is there a way to use multiple values from the list? I need to be able to select four or five values at a time. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And this was a forum post that I found that actually does talk about <clears throat> how to do it with multiple values. The issue is that um, a lot of this stuff, the documentation, the Microsoft documentation especially, isn't very uh, reader friendly uh, for someone who's not a computer guy. And then, you know, all this other stuff talks about this too. And they're sort of computer people, you know. So this one uh, walks it out uh, fairly simple. It, you know, it takes a while to sort of read this. But this is um, where we end up getting the answer from. So I'm going to review on how exactly I did it in my example. Uh, you can find this um, uh, thing at the, that address right there. So here's the code right here laid out that we're going to end up using. Uh, but first, I'm going to get this set up. So I'm going to import um, two things, we're to import the data for the two tables. So I've got strategy reports saved on my computer in one place, and I've got all of the stock data saved in another place. So we're going to be uh, coming here and we're going to choose uh, data, get data from folder. <clears throat> now I have these. I'm going to go to the place I have them saved. So I have them saved in here. I can be able to see it though. So I'm going to open that. Transform. Now I've already gone through here and um, fixed this up. Obviously you can see that it would require a lot of uh, additional steps. So I'm just going to take this code that I've already written out and I'm going to add it down here to the bottom to speed this up. All right. And so now this is the data that I want. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to save, close and load. Now I'm going to do something similar over here, so instead of going through that again, I'm just going to pause the video and uh, we'll be back when I have all the data downloaded. You can see here as I'm downloading this, just the sheer size of all these CSVs. And So what we're going to end up doing is we don't need, want to download all of these. We're going to, right here at this step, we're going to end up just downloading the ones uh, that we, are, we use over here in this table. 
But for now, I'm going to download all of these, and uh, then we'll we'll work through getting there. So I've clicked the little download button up here, and it put in all these steps automatically. And what we end up with is it takes out all this data from the CSV, but uh, the little the, um, column here I created that has the ticker symbol is gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back it up and delete these all the way up to this step right here. And then I'm going to click on the little guy up there, and I'm going to choose the ones that I want. So I want date. I want open, I want close. I'm going to click OK. And then that uh, added those without deleting that, that ticker uh, column there. All right, so I've got the data in there. Now we're going to come up here back into the query editor. And what we need is to create the, uh, the uh, filter criteria next, uh, the little list. So I'm going to come in here to reports because this is the one with the tickers that we want. And now you might be tempted to um, click on this and do drill down or add new query, but uh, we don't want to do it all the way at the bottom here because it's going to add all this code. So we're going to come up here at the top and just start right here on the first one. And I'm going to click on this and I'm going to add a new query. And then I'm going to get rid of this navigation. And what I want is this ticker symbol right there. So I'm going to remove all the other columns. Then I'm going to split this out by a delimiter. get rid of those and then I'm gonna come up here format and I'm gonna do uppercase just to make it look nice I'm gonna say tickers and then you can see here we got multiple ones so we're gonna to want to remove the duplicates and then at that point we're going to convert it to a list up here. All right. So now we have our list here. And so now we're going to come into the CSV, which is the table right here. And what we want to do is we want to filter this based on um, the tickers that are here. And so we're going to use, we're going to add this, uh, this bit of code in but where we're going to do it is instead of filtering this final table, we're going to come up here to the source. Uh, where am I at? Yeah, the source here, and when we reach the download, which begins right here at remove columns. We're going to open this up and we're going to insert it there. So we're going to open this up and we're looking for remove columns. Um, this is right before we download the, the filter hidden files. One is the, the first line that downloads the, uh, the data. Say uh, removing unused tickers and then we're going to enter in this uh, code so it's going to be uh, let's see, table table dot select rows just used when you're filtering the rows we're going to enter the prior step so in this case it is removed columns I'll have to remember to change this down here because it's not going to do that automatically. And then uh, each list.contain and with an S contains. So then we're going to choose uh, the tickers and strategy. So um, we want the, uh, the t total uh, filter criteria, what we've named that query. So we've named it tickers and strategy report and then we're going to want the column name uh, that we're going to be filtering on the CSV file so it's going to be tickers and then we're going to close off all this and put 
a comma, and we want to update this down here. All right, so let's give this a shot and see. Okay, so this ticker is one found. So what did we? So this is named out one. So uh, I'm gonna come into here and change that to named out one. Alright, so there we go. So you can see it removed AAL, which was the first one originally. We had AAL, AAP, APL, ABNB, AMC. And I believe, I know AAL is not in there, I know ABNB is not in there. So what we should see is AAPL and then whatever's next. So we see AAPL here. So at that point, we're, we're good. So now all we're going to do is just close and load. And uh, and there it is. The data is uh, filtered based on uh, the tickers in this uh, table over here.